I haven't watched the video. I haven't watched the promo, so I'm not speaking on it from like experience. You know, I'm not. I haven't watched it mostly because I didn't feel like sitting there for 21 minutes watching The Rock talk to a camera. I just I wasn't interested. Oh. However, I have heard it's fire. It's great. It's one of his best promos ever. Damn but right it is. but this is the thing. Anybody who is a good talker can stand in front of a camera in their backyard and and talk for 20 minutes and deliver a good promo i'm sorry i'm not really impressed because it's like all right you hold on i'm letting you finish Co- I, cody I cody could do that any any of them could do that any of the ones who can talk seth rollins could do that but also the reason my bigger issue is the premise of the promo was for him to clarify the roster or the 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 storyline problems that he created <laughs> So that's why I'm like, I'm not giving you any kudos for cutting this promo when the reason why you needed to do it was because you inserted yourself in a story that did not need you and you were trying to take a moment away from Cody and then they had to pivot because you didn't get the reaction you wanted. So now you have to come in and try and fix it. I'm I'm not going to like sit here and applaud you because you should have been doing this. This is something that should have been done because you're presence in this story is what messed it up and then made it all really confusing and weird and hard to follow so that's why i'm like i can't really sit back and be like wow rock that was that was great yeah it should be because you're the reason why we're in this situation so dick dicky thought it was impressive it is impressive but at the same time guys i used to stream for an hour basically talking to myself because it was just like (laughs) me sitting here with a few viewers But I'm just saying, I didn't, I'm not saying it's not great. I haven't watched it. I've heard rave reviews. That's what everybody's saying. But what I'm saying is people are giving him like way too much credit beyond what he, what the promo was. If you look at the promo, if you look at it for what it is, yeah, it's great. But if you're thinking about why it was done, what he's saying, the purpose of the whole reason why he did it in the first place is because of an issue he created. So... I would expect this to happen because if anybody needed to come in and fix the situation, it was him. So, but he, but if you, when you watch it, it doesn't just clarify things, it connects things so that you just don't even care that he's, he's messing up anything because we're still getting it's more entertaining and a better story than Cody just going up against the bloodline for the second straight year. I'm not, I, I, I get it. And, and I'm, what I'm saying like, and I've said it multiple times, like if the end result was to have Cody versus Roman, I said that I feel like I don't have a right to complain because I'm getting what I want. Right. So I'm, that's why I'm saying like all these other things, I feel like I can't say anything because it's like my biggest gripe was that The Rock decided to insert himself into the story and take it away from Cody. Obviously, they finished it. So I'm like, I can't complain. So I'm not even complaining about that. We're beyond that. You know, like, okay, I'm getting Cody versus Roman. The Rock is still going to be in a match. So like, hello, I'm I'm going to see The Rock wrestle, which I've never I'm, seen in I'm person. So it's like that type of stuff I'm not mad about. And obviously, given the direction of the story and like how much bigger it has become because of this pivot and whatever i am grateful for it it's a lot better but i'm just looking at why all of why he had to post this promo that's all that's all i'm looking at so that's why i'm saying like people are trying to give him kudos but it's like you can give him kudos as richard was saying like he spoke for 21 minutes in his backyard you know like to a camera by himself but at the same time like he probably should have been doing so where uh, my only counter is where else would he have would wwe not he would wwe have fit a soliloquy of the rock explaining the things that he did and trying to connect it to how cody said no to the rock like i won't and all that and then the power, how we connect in TKO into this, because to be honest, like TKO is their own entity and they just own WWE, hmm. but now they're bringing it in. They had to. Ex- but 
that's is, what's best for business. I know. So, so okay. what? So no, I agree. There are aspects yeah. that they've had to do it because of the reaction that The Rock got. Obviously, they weren't going to touch that he's a chairman of the board or whatever for TKO had this gone the way they wanted it to. They weren't going to implement that. But then because he decided to take this match away from Cody and everyone turned on him, which was still shocking, I think, for most people, um, they had to bring it in because that's what the fans were saying. They were saying he's abusing his power. He's he. That's why he he has this match. Like he just decided that this was blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Like. They oh, had yeah. to bring that in, and it's easily going to get him heat. Those types of stories always do. Like, always do. you know, know oh, the authority. Like, hello, you know, like, uh, it, it just works. So I'm fine with that. Like, I'm fine with him explaining it. I'm just saying, like, for people being like, wow, he just did all this. No, guys, he kind of had to. That's my point, is he kind of had to explain, le- explain these plot holes because... Everybody was thinking, okay, how does this make sense? Like we were literally, I, I don't know if it was last week. I think it was. We're just was talking like about um, how he keeps saying, they keep bringing up that Cody doesn't even deserve this rematch. Like he just comes in a year later after losing and he's just going to get his match again. And it's like, you're completely ignoring the whole Royal Rumble aspect. So that's what I mean. Like he had to explain some of these things to make it make more sense and most of it is just putting more heat on himself but i think that there's an emphasis on the conversation that he had with with cody which cody talks about which we can get to i think there's an emphasis on that because it's gonna it's gonna play into how night two goes down 